Hello friends, welcome. In this video, we will see working principle of a steam turbine and force exerted on moving blades. So friends, let's start. Friends, steam turbine is a rotodynamic machine. Steam turbine is a rotodynamic dynamic machine it is because this steam turbine converts flow energy of steam into mechanical energy by using rotor here friends in this figure this is a nozzle this is uh, these are the rotor blades rotor blades and uh, these are the stator stator blades this is rotating rotor is a rotating part of the steam turbine rotating part of the steam turbine and stator is the stationary stationary part of steam turbine okay and these are the blades rotor blades which are on the rotor wheel rotor wheel of steam turbine and stator blades are on the stator wheel of steam turbine which is stationary so friends here the nozzle the flow of steam coming from the nozzle is goes goes on the rotor blades like this this one like this on rotor blades okay and these rotor blades has a, a aerofoil shape as you can see in the figure these rotor blades has or aerofoil shape because of these aerofoil shape airfoil shape sorry friends because airfoil because of these airfoil shape um, the flow energy of the steam has that is flow coming from the nozzle creates high pressure on this side this side has this uh, lower side has high pressure and this upper side has low pressure this high and low pressure difference is created in rotor wheel because of this air airfoil shape of the rotor blades due to this high and low pressure difference the lift upward lift will act on the rotor blades like this here on this portion lift upward lift upward lift acts on the rotor blades because of this upward lift upward lift this uh, rotor uh, wheel rotates uh, in that in the uh, rotates like this this uh, because of this upward lift uh, this rotor rotates and after that uh, this uh, steam goes here in this section of the in this section of the stator which is a st stationary stator blades are stationary and here as you can see friends this area this is high area this is larger area you can see say it high area and this is low area as compared to 
previous low area this area is greater than this area so it is low area so here friends this portion acts as a nozzle again so when uh, a nozzle here when flow coming flow of the steam coming from the nozzle and uh, glides on the uh, rotor blades uh, its velocity decreases and this uh, low velocity fluid goes into the stator and uh, which has this uh, here large area and here it is low area because of this uh, high and low area it acts as a nozzle and uh, the uh, flow uh, flow of the uh, steam goes through the through this stator blades and its velocity again increases due to this nozzle action of stator blades velocity again increases velocity increases increases as here let's see here friends here this is a graph here as you can see the here it is a see here and friends here flow energy there are three forms of flow energy which are first is uh, speed that is velocity speed that is velocity that is kinetic energy second is pressure and third is temperature these three are the important forms of flow energy here friends uh, suppose this is velocity this is here it is temperature here it is pressure velocity pressure and it is temperature here as we can see till this point all three forms will have the will be straight have will have straight line because they are constant here here friends now in this in this uh, rotor blades uh, velocity decreases uh, this rotor blade absorbs some of the flow energy of the steam and due to this uh, velocity decreases temperature decreases and pressure decreases so in the graph here this will go down this will here go down and this will again here go down okay now in further state further here in the stator blades here due to this nozzle action velocity increases temperature decreases and pressure also decreases here so here friends this velocity goes velocity increases pressure again decreases and temperature again decreases here friends this is how friends steam turbine works now here friends next term is degree of reaction degree of reaction here friends degree of reaction is given as change in energy of change in pressure energy pressure energy plus change in temperature energy upon change in uh, total energy energy okay and again this is simplified as degree of reaction is this whole term is enthalpy change in enthalpy so here change in enthalpy delta h upon change in total energy total this is this is the formula for degree of reaction and this degree of reaction determines whether 
it is impulse turbine or reaction turbine okay now here friends let's see the force exerted on the moving blade here friends this is a blade profile here it is a steam jet which is which uh, glides on the blade tangentially with speed v1 okay and at an angle enter um, steam entering angle is alpha here inlet velocity inlet velocity is v1 and inlet angle inlet angle is alpha here and here it is a uh, outlet angle outlet angle of steam jet which is beta here and uh, outlet velocity is this one here outlet velocity city is v2 here and this is here direction of blade rotation and it here it is a resultant force f here friends due after gliding over the curved surface of the vein there is change in momentum of the steam jet due to this the blade moves with a linear velocity u linear velocity linear velocity velocity is here given as uh, given with letter u okay and according to, to the newton's second law, law the change in momentum is directly proportional to the force acting on the blade so force acting on the blade okay so here friends now uh, force applied on the when or blade is equal to change in momentum of jet which is equal to mass flow rate into change in velocity so here friends f is equal to m dot s that is mass flow rate and into bracket v1 cos alpha minus into bracket minus v2 cos beta bracket close bracket close and let's simplify it f is equal to here m dot s v1 cos alpha plus v2 cos beta this is the equation for force applied on the when change in force applied on the when which is equal to change in momentum of the jet next is friends here torque torque we can find out by t is equal to f into r so here again this equation will becomes m dot s sorry m dot s r into bracket v1 cos alpha plus v2 cos beta now here friends linear velocity of blade is given as u is equal to 2 pi n r upon 60 2 pi n r upon 60 which is equal to pi d n upon 60 okay now next is friends uh, let's find out rate of work done by blades rate of work done by blades which is equal to power developed by the blades so power is equal to force into linear blade velocity so here friends let's put the values here we have force which is equal to m dot s into bracket v1 cos alpha plus v2 cos beta into u 
now again let's put the value of u so p is equal to m dot s v1 cos alpha plus v2 cos beta into pi d pi d n upon 60 okay now here friends in this here um here friends this d is the rotor diameter diameter okay now again let's simplify it p is equal to m dot s into bracket v1 cos alpha plus v2 cos beta into uh, 2 pi n r upon 60 okay now we can again simplify it that is p is equal to 2 pi n t upon 60 as t is consist t consists of these two terms torque is this force into r so t is here and 2 pi n t upon 60 this is our power that is rate of work done by blades and here n is the rpm of the blade r pm okay so friends in this video we have learned about working principle of steam turbine and force exerted on the moving blades Thank you friends for watching this video like share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel thank you